Welcome, we're at the Chanhassen Autoplex out in Chanhassen, Minnesota. We're with Steve Olson. How are you doing, sir? Journey, nice to meet you, welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's great to be out here at your wonderful garage. These are garage condominiums. That is the envy of every guy. <laughs> Thank you. Just a great, great space to come out and hang out. So we're gonna get to know Steve and get to see his cool toys. So here we go. Okay, thanks, Jordy. So tell me about your garage. Well, I bought this. I bought this in 2011, and the guy that owned it just stored his Ferraris in here, and it was empty. It was sheetrock. There was nothing in here. So I bought it in the uh, uh, summer of 2011. Hired a contractor. Decided uh, with all my gas and oil collection and pumps that I would build a mini gas station inside my garage. So I'm one of the only guys out here that has a garage in a garage. So I've got my mobile station here, my 1955 mobile station. There's the Pegasus, the logo of mobile. I've got my collection of pumps and signs all over. You'll see that. And uh, a few cars with a few stories behind the cars. Excellent. Well, let's start with this beautiful car here. This, uh... Okay, this is a 1984 Austin Mini Cooper. Uh, it is from London, England. It came over about, I'd say, 10 years ago. It's got right-hand drive because uh, in the UK, they drive on the wrong side of the road if you're an American. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's fun to drive on the right side. You freak people out for sure. And uh, 45 horsepower with this car. There are lawnmowers that have more horsepower than that. But it's fun to drive. It's a light car, so it drives like a go-kart. And probably of all my cars, it's the most fun to drive. So 1984 Austin Mini Cooper. Very fun car. It's beautiful. Thank you. The sheen on it is just glorious. How often do you wax that? Uh, yeah, about once a month, and it doesn't take too long. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice to Easy to park, too. <laughs> Absolutely. I go to car shows, and they say, you got room for me? <laughs> so, there we go. So what's next? Next, what's next uh, we'll go over to the uh, Corvette here. This is a uh, 1987 uh, Corvette convertible. Uh, I hunted for this car. I traded an Indy Pace car in on this, and uh, when I got this, it had to be white-red, which is the first color combination of the 53 Corvette when it was introduced. And uh, it's 31 years old. I don't drive it much. It's got 11,800 miles on it. 31-year-old car. It's very young. I just retired from Care 11 after 38 years in the sales and marketing department. I'm still promoting the station, however, because I've got the NBC 11 plates on Do they pay you? Uh, they should. I'm going to hire, have my agent call them. But uh, I've got five sets of those plates because the state of Minnesota gives you personalized plates one set every five years. Really? So I've got six sets of these things. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 they owe me some money. You need some more Corvettes. Well, <laughs> there you go. Maybe if I get my agent to get me money, I'll, I'll buy another <laughs> one. So. But inside the station here, uh, we've got more signs and oil cans and so forth. And uh, this garage door actually comes down, so that's the garage in a garage concept. Do you, do you have a favorite sign? Uh, I'd say that one, the Pegasus, and my Oldsmobile, 1950s Oldsmobile World sign. That's my wife's favorite. Mm. She said, I don't have the world in your garage. <laughs> How long did it take you to collect all of these? I have been collecting these signs and pumps for about 35 years. Wow. And uh, they're all, some of them were at my house in Excelsior, but when I bought this place, I bought more, of course. But uh, fortunately, I bought a lot of them a long time ago because the prices, thanks to shows like American Pickers and so forth, have driven up the prices. So uh, sure. it's just a fun way to collect cool art, automotive art, and the prices keep inflated. So was it always in, were they always in this condition when you found I, them? Or? The, the signs I, I buy in most conditions are. Mint condition, the pumps no, no repumps, uh, no repops. The pumps I buy like this. This was restored by a guy in Victoria, hmm. and uh, fully restored. Uh, they don't. Uh, Fifties pumps are usually pretty rusty and bad shape. Uh, the, these restoration guys are artists, and, and uh, they bring it back to life. So I buy them done because I don't do them myself. Right. So there you go. Very cool. And the next, the next one, I've got my uh, Jaguar. This is a 2000 XKR Jaguar, which is the first year of the supercharged engine. It's about 400 horsepower. It's got a great shape to it. It's a coupe um, in, in the first series of XK series Jaguars. 10% coupe for coupes, 8, 90% were convertible. So to find a coupe is very rare. Uh, black tan is a great combination on this car. This car's got 23,000 extra 
four miles um, to 2,000, and it's, it's a rocket ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same guy that did this when Ford owned the Jaguar, the same guy that uh, designed this car, designed the Aston Martin um, as well. So it's a very similar look to the DB7, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it, it flies. We want to hear you start it up later. Okay, we can do that. Excellent. Anything else that's unique and special? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for another car right now. I'm bidding on a 1950 Oldsmobile. We'll, we'll see what that uh, happens, if that happens or not. But I, I've got room for one more car. Yeah. So come back again, you'll probably see. It. Excellent. Well, you will. Yeah, you will. Tell me about your bike. This is a 1967 Schwinn Ramshorn uh, Stingray bike. Uh, this was my 12th birthday present in 1967. And so I drove this uh, from 1967 until about 1973 when I got my first, car at, my first car at Minnetonka High School. And so then the bike went into storage and it was hanging in my mom's uh, outbuilding or barn in the backyard for 40, about 42, 43 years until about uh, two years ago I went and I said, I'm going to get that bike down and restore it. Took it to a place in Excelsior, did a mild restoration, didn't paint it because I wanted the scratches from my childhood to show. And, uh, but did the brakes, chrome, seat, uh, polished it up real good, and uh, it's great to drive it again. There's guys that have golf carts out here that drive between the garages to see their buddies. I just hop on my Stingray, and I'm fine. So, uh, not bad for a 63-year-old guy riding a Stingray. Okay, we're on the second floor of my garage condominium at the Chanhassen Autoplex, and uh, when I bought the place in 2011, again, there was no, nothing here, just sheetrock, and we made it a family project. I got to design the first floor, my wife got to design the second floor, to the point where she will not allow any gas pumps or signs on her level. This is her domain, so I stuck this weather vane in, and I felt the wrath of Sandra when I did it, but she's forgiven me now, but that's technically in, on her turf, but anyway, we've got a nice living space here, we bring our kids over. We pop in a movie, we pop in a pizza, or make popcorn, and this is kind of our family hangout. It's really nice. It's like having a cabin up in Brainerd, only I'm only 10 minutes away from Excelsior, so this is where we come. So we've got a little kitchen here, tiny kitchen, we've got the fridge, convection oven, full sink, and so forth, so we can, we can make meals here. Uh, we've got a half bathroom over there, so it's just like a... A little condo, only it's a garage. Flat screen TV. So it's just a great place, kind of a warm, cozy environment. We come here in the winter as well, just crank up the heat a little bit and bring the kids out and we'll watch a James Bond movie or whatever is current. Got pub table over here, some Artwork that my wife Sandra found that really goes with the garage, kind of industrial, garagey, steel uh, artwork that uh, works really well in this space. And so that's the tour of the second floor. This is a 24 by 40 garage, and by comparison, it's kind of small on the small size compared to other garages out here. But I can get my four cars in here, and we have our living space, so that's all I need. There's a lot of uh, larger garages up here, but this. Uh, as Mr. Meets our needs.